Hey, what's up guys? Jackson here from the Toasty Bros, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your HP Omen 15 to a NVMe SSD. So this high capacity blazing fast SSD that we have here is a Western Digital Black and does up to 3400 megabytes a second. And so not only am I going to show you how to actually put this new SSD in, I'm also going to show you where the actual hard drive, if you have a hard drive in this one, where it would be and then also how to actually clone everything from your hard drive or SSD over to the M.2 SSD. So the first important thing we're going to do is of course you want to back up all your data if you have important data. Go ahead and safely power off the system. All right, so now that we've confirmed that it's completely off, we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. We're going to have to basically just remove the lid or the back shell of this. So this is going to require a tiny little Phillips, uh, one out of like even a glasses kit would be fine. All right, so hopefully you guys saw that pretty decently in depth. So you can see here we have the shell off. We actually did a pretty good job in not uh, marring up the edges or anything here. You guys can see uh, I used two basic tools here which you might not just have lying around at home. I have These are actually from a cell phone kit. Uh, it's this little kit right here that comes with a bunch of Torx bits and actually some other screwdriver bits that I could have just used to take the back off too. So. I do suggest getting something like this. I think it was like uh, six or seven dollars on Amazon. Um, it comes with these little things that almost look like guitar picks. So you could probably could use a guitar pick or a credit card. These tools are really nice here. They're like little plastic pry tools. It's just a lot better to use plastic rather than like aluminum or um, steel or some type of metal to open it because it's uh, harder to scratch with those. If your laptop's really dusty inside, now would be a good time to kind of go through and blow everything off. So here is our M.2 slot right here and I'll get a little zoom in on this. Here is our just normal 2.5 inch hard drive. This is not a solid state drive, this is just a normal hard drive so it has a spinning disk. So we're going to put this Western Digital Black drive into here and then I'm going to clone everything over and then I actually might end up taking this one terabyte drive out um, just because I'm only using like 200 gigs on it and I'm just probably going to operate just off the SSD and I can use this in something else. Like I said, a whole terabyte of space on this little stick right here is not much bigger than a normal USB thumb drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a close up so you guys can see exactly how this goes in. It's really easy. Okay guys, so the only little problem I did run into is, you know, we have everything we need here except there's a little tiny screw that's supposed to go here that basically once this is in, because it'll kind of be flopped up like this, it holds it down for you. So luckily I have a crap ton of screws. So I'm pretty sure I can find one in real quick. It's gonna be one second, but I don't believe the kit came with one of those little screws. All right guys, so I'm not proud of what I had to do here to get a screw, but this is the type of screw that we need right here. And I just stole it from the battery. There still is another screw over there. And I mean, you can see if I pull up my finger, I can only get it up maybe a couple millimeters. Um, I do plan on just buying a case of these little uh, tiny M.2 SATA screws, but like I said, no no big deal. So we're gonna take this and it actually goes upside down in here. And then we're going to just simply insert it just like that. Um, it might take a little bit of force and there's no like spring action or anything to here. The screw just tried to find its way back into its hole and it was almost successful. So we're gonna have to hold it down because like I said, it tries to kind of pop itself back up. I'm taking that screwdriver that I was telling you guys that came with the kit now with the, the smallest Phillips I could find. And just like that, make sure it's good and you know not too tight, but just snug to where it's not gonna rattle its way out or anything. So we got that nice and tight in there now. And this is basically what it should look like. Uh, like I said, I usually go upside down. The small side goes on the left. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid back on just so you guys can get the idea. All right, so just to show you guys everything still works, we have the HP Omen booting up now. It should be booting up on the one terabyte drive, so everything should pop up uh, just fine. Like I said, that new storage shouldn't be effective or anything yet since um, there's nothing on it for it to try to boot from. It's easy us to do backup free uh, version 11. So essentially they have a cloning um, app on it along with a few other useful things. So we're gonna go down here to this little icon that says clone. So we're going to highlight everything here because I want to transfer everything. Um, and that includes like the backups and whatnot. And so we're going to go ahead and hit next. And you can see our other ones right down here. And then we'll hit that. 
So you can see it has windows on it, 918. Um, actually it's a one terabyte total, and then this is also one terabyte total, but of course Windows only recognizes that much. So we'll go ahead and hit proceed. And then this might take a while. All right guys, so just to show that everything was successful, you can see we have both one terabyte drives here. So they're literally mirror images of each other and that's basically what we're going for. We still have all the recovery, uh, basically all the partitions are there and good to go. From a different star Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can even touch us We found a different beat Alright guys, now we're just going to reinstall the back plate It's just going to be the reverse order of how we took everything apart Alright guys, so as you can see it was pretty much as simple as that The program actually worked out perfectly it, took maybe 20 to 25 minutes to actually get everything transferred over but this is just the ssd the old drive is actually completely out of this computer i didn't even have to change the boot order or anything the uh, laptop just automatically recognized the um, windows boot device so it just came right up and everything's good to go so we hope you guys enjoyed this video and of course go check out the western digital page i'll actually have a link down in the description below to show you the exact drive I put in this because like I said it worked out perfectly just in case you're worried about compatibility. We hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe and we will see you guys later.